Statistical inference. This video is meant to give you an introduction to what we're going to be studying the rest of the year. Um, and what we're going to be studying is called statistical inference. Statistical inference is the process through which inferences about a population are made based on statistics calculated from a random sample of data drawn from that population. Now, we have talked about this idea um, all year, about taking a sample and using it to learn something about um, a population. We are now going to fully do that the same way a statistician would. Okay? And we've been working up to this the entire year um, by learning how to take samples, by learning how to make um, graphs and calculations, and then learning about probability. So now we're ready to put it all together and actually take a sample and based on that sample, um, make some decisions about a population. So just keep in mind, um, this is the goal of statistics. We have a population where we don't know what the parameter is. Okay, so we take a sample, which gives us a bunch of data, and then we use that data to, you know, we draw graphs, we make calculations, um, we look at statistics, things like x bars, p hats, um, s, s squared, etc., etc. And then using that information, we try to infer back on the value of the parameter. Okay, that is our ultimate goal, and that is um, really the foundation of statistics: is this idea of going from population to sample, um, and then using that sample to infer back to the population. Okay. So statistical inference provides methods for drawing conclusions about a population from sample data. Okay, so the key here is we're going to collect um, some sample data and try to infer back on the population. There are two forms of statistical inference that we're going to study. Um, the first is called hypothesis testing, and the other is called um, confidence interval estimation. Okay, um, these are two branches of statistical inference, but they overlap. They're very related to one another, and oftentimes we'll be performing both um, activities on a set of data. Okay, um, And we'll now go into detail what those are located, um, what those involve. So hypothesis testing is used to assess the plausibility of a hypothesis about a parameter by using sample data. Okay, um, So for hypothesis testing, we're going to have an idea of what the population parameter is, or someone's going to make a claim about what they think the population parameter is. Okay, So they'll make a claim about a mu or a p. And then we're going to try to um, back up their claim or refute their claim based on sample um, data. Okay, And we're going to use what we know about sample data, and especially like sampling distributions of sample data, so that we can see if our um, samples actually do support and reinforce um, the claims that are made. Okay, and those claims that are made are called the hypothesis. So that's one half of um, statistical inference. The other half are called confidence intervals. And this is producing a range of values that's likely to include a population parameter with a certain degree of confidence. Okay, so in a confidence interval, we're gonna be collecting a sample Okay, and then saying, you know what, we know the sample is not 100% accurate, so we're going to create an interval of values where we think the population parameter, by doing that, we'll, you know, we'll take a sample and then we'll add or, add or subtract a certain amount. Okay, and we could do that with p hats too. Okay, so that will end up with a, a bunch of values. You could say, you know, here's our number line for our parameter. Um, we take a sample, it lands here, and we say, well, you know what? Maybe the real parameter is somewhere in this area, okay? So that would be the confidence interval. And we could do the same thing for p-hats. All right, so those are the two things. Hypothesis testing, where we're gonna test somebody's claim and see if the claim, we think the claim is accurate, or, um, or we can just take a sample and then come up with a range of values where we think a population parameter is located. So here's a hypothesis testing example. Um, suppose there's a claim about a population. For example, 50% of students at Jefferson High School have a job. Okay, so that is obviously, um, that's a P for a percentage. Okay, and then we test this claim by selecting a random sample of 30 students from Jefferson and asking them if they have a job. So that could be a survey. Um, we randomly, obviously have to randomly pick the people. 
And then what we can do is, by knowing those two things, okay, the claim and the sample size, we can come up with the sampling distribution, okay? Because remember, the mean of p hats should be equal p, and the standard deviation of p hats should be p times 1 minus p over n, take the square root. So I can come up with a plausible distribution of values that this sample of 30 could take on, okay? And then based on what I get in my sample, that will either reinforce that 50% is really the percentage that have a job, or maybe it's gonna tell me that, you know what, 50% is not a reasonable claim, okay? So let's look at these two options down here. Okay, so if I end up taking a sample, like a p-hat, and I get 55%, well, if you look at this distribution, the mean is about 50%, and 55% is pretty close to the mean, okay? So if I got a sample, you know, in that area, that's evidence that, you know what, the claim is probably right, because that's where I should get my sample if the claim was correct. Now, on the other hand, if I get a sample a p hat that's 27%, like down here, okay? Well, that would be way down here, okay? That's not very likely to happen in this sampling distribution. So that would be evidence that, you know what? Maybe the claim is incorrect. Maybe the mean is, the, the percentage of students at Jefferson that have a job is lower than 50%, okay? So um, that's what we do, is we, you know, someone makes a claim, we come up with what the sampling distribution is gonna look like, Okay, using what we know about sampling distributions. And then we take our sample and see where it falls on this distribution. Okay, the further on the tails it lands, that's evidence that the claim is not true. Okay, or that the claim is suspect. If we get an answer that's more in the realm of where we think we should get an answer, you know, in this area around the middle of our sampling distribution, which is where most of the data should fall, okay. Um, that would be reinforcing that the claim uh, might be correct, okay? So that's hypothesis testing. And there's more to it than that, but that is basically um, what we'll be doing. There's a procedure that we'll have to follow um, and conditions we have to check and some calculations we have to make, okay? But in general, that's a hypothesis test. A confidence interval would be like this. Suppose we randomly sample 30 students from Jefferson and ask them if they have a job. We get a sample proportion of 55%. Okay, so that's our p-hat. Now, we know because of sampling variability that 55% is probably not the exact parameter, right? Remember, there, there'll be a sampling distribution of values for p-hat. Another sample might give us a little different result. So we're going to use this sample proportion of 55 to create an interval of values where we think the true percentage of students with a job is located. Okay, we decide to create an interval that is plus or minus 5% around our sample proportion. Okay, and we're going to, um, this will be a calculation later on. For right now, we're just going to um, assume I've made that calculation, okay? So, basically, I'm going to take that 55%, and I'm going to add or subtract 5% to that. So, I end up with a range of values from about 50%, I'm sorry, 50% to about 60%, Okay. And then we could say something like this. We think the true percentage of students with a job at Jefferson is between 50 and 60%. So this is the way of estimating that population parameter P, okay? Using a sample that we took P hat, okay? And we'll be able to attach a, a certain um, probability to this. I and mean, we might be able to say we're 95% confident that we, that we are correct in our assumptions here, okay? And of course, there's more to it than this, but this is in general what we're gonna do. Um, take a sample and then make an interval of values where we believe um, the population proportion actually is located. Okay, um, so these two ideas, a hypothesis test and a confidence interval, are gonna be with us now um, from unit six all the way through unit nine. So the rest of the course, we're gonna be doing these two things applied to different situations. Okay, we'll apply it to linear regression, um, we'll apply it to categorical variables, um, we'll apply it to sample means, all sorts of situations. Okay, so good luck with um, statistical inference.